I challenge your history again. There is absolutely no record that six million people were put in concentration camps. They only have 16 million to begin with. Before we dismiss this video is a deep fake or some sort of CGI and made up recording. I want to consider that maybe this is truth and they're just um, sort of giving us a shock. See, we're going to dismiss this because this just doesn't line up with our taught reality. So most people are going to automatically dismiss this, but I think we should dismiss our taught reality of history. So by showing this video, I just want to consider some facts and some possibilities. So considering the facts, we'll see there are no facts. There are no facts that they're outside of what we're told outside of our media. Everything that's within our media is where the facts come from. It's all created by other men. And see, your perception of those said facts are really just a created reality. Now let's talk about some possibilities. Let's consider the possibility that what happened during World War II was just a hoax. It was something made by the people and people went along with it. I guess what I'm trying to say is we should consider this. What if our country came to ask us, would you like to have a war where you didn't have to kill anybody? You can just act it and it'll become the reality of the world. You don't have to have any physical contact. All you have to do is just make a few recordings and we'll show it to the world and it will become their reality. And we will defeat them by this reality. Would you be interested in that war? Would you be interested in prosperity and fighting for it in a way that ha requires no physical contact? I think most of you, I think most of us, would say that we would not want physical contact. We would rather win it just by acting it. It's not the first time it's been done, but it is being done and we're in the middle of it now. And if you can sense that that delicate sensitivity to you know what's going on is not real. Well, you see, it was also done a long time ago as it is today. See, a country is come together and they make clips they make little movie clips showing us that it's happening here too and so therefore you believe because we're not the only ones but we're the only ones make no mistake it is east versus west and if we see these things i think it'll be much easier to go through life understanding that these things aren't real for us now it's real for everyone else and see that's where the quote um that there's nothing to fear but fear itself you see fear itself means the people the fear resides in the minds of men and so if we understand that fear itself means other people see our only fear is what other people think we can't make them see the truth but we can know the truth and we can live our lives. See, we get to control our world. As sad as it sounds that others make our reality for us and sometimes we're bound by the reality of others. Again, see that fear of other people or fear itself is in other people. And that's all we have to fear is the fear of other people. And just a real quick side note i just want you to ponder just to think is ukraine real all those clips that we see of the fighting is that real fighting i think we should question any time heavy media presence shows up to present what they want us to see is it real is it true media is i mean can we count on media is it is it true what they show us is what we should accept as reality I think if we ponder these things, we can consider this quote, that the pen is mightier than the sword.